Hail is it cold? Hello, 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 hello. Tuta here coming in the Grand Sish Bar to bring you another video. Japanese float planes and um, mysterious. Uh, what's it called? Your brain is not working. Stand by. Wow, these actually have little ammo. Mm. I wonder if I should try and speed a uh, destroyer up this way to meet with the Task Force 12. Actually, I add more ships to Task Force 12. Probably two more destroyers. Or in this case, three more. Thinking of uh, it. Yeah, I think we'll do something like that. Uh, we'll add. Let me see. Destroyers. Uh, and we'll do. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm using porters like crazy, aren't I? So I have to get them to do it. Uh, Moffat. Uh, block. And then for the destroyer, uh, I mean for the other, their destroyer Fletcher. We have plenty of, ah, we can bring Jenkins back. Hi Jenkins, welcome back. Look at the ammo, oh my god, look at the ammo these things carry, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. That is actually a very very good reinforcement man because that's two four six eight five inch guns well, while they're not dual purpose we do have Cleveland's and the Fletcher's for that so yeah no that's actually I'm actually okay with that it's a very decent increase uh Wichita you you're good there because you got that let's can I no I can't stop that because of the way I have it uh, I want, you, I want you to swap positions here. Yeah, I like that idea. For the, the, yeah, no, I, I'm i okay with this. Uh, do, do, do. So yeah, up here, so we're gonna be, uh, leave about truck is about this way, kind of between five and six. If not four, and I think that's where the enemy reinforcements are coming from in the meantime uh, our invasion force is getting really close getting really really close so we're gonna continue forward ow that was loud I need to turn down my volume hi oh hello well, well, well. Two heavy cruisers, three destroyers. Uh, uh, you don't have much ammo. You have a decent amount. Uh, you could probably, because you got about 700 rounds. 791 rounds, to be precise, of actual firing. Same, around the same with you, 700. And yeah, so you you could fight that. Uh, Saratoga, your first combat mission. Uh, none right now. Twelve. You're gonna launch an escort right up to this guy, and then uh. Launch your aircraft, then you're gonna launch dumplesses. God, I love the SPD. And while theoretically Task Force 28 could take them on, again, we want to make it as much of a as much in our favor as possible. Uh, two destroyers, Hornet. Nope, you're not launching aircraft anytime soon. Oh, this is just going to be wrong. 
This is gonna be so wrong. Hornet's not gonna ha I don't think Hornet's gonna be doing anything with that. Okay, so those planes are flying back. We need to get more from Enterprise. I'm being very micromanagement with the uh, cap over this just because this is kind of a big uh, deal over here. I'm even putting Enterprise in a very uh, dangerous position by keeping by moving her with it because of the air cover. I'm just gonna move you, uh, of course, this way a little bit. Uh, how close are you? We'll let them initiate the battle. You know, we'll just leave sort of Task Force 12 just sitting off the coast of Guadalcanal for now. And actually, I mean, using... I think using the reinforcing troops actually might be a good idea to uh, take these bases. Because we're not going to have to worry about enemy troops coming to these bases at all. Because of our... Uh, line here. Well, this area is kind of open, unfortunately. And I want to keep uh, this base, because this base is being, uh, you know, sieged. So, I want to keep an eye on that. So, this fleet will still remain off of here. Actually, given the way, I think I'll have to move this fleet up here. And Haven, can you get another aircraft out? Uh, but you make it a little bit farther. Thank you. Yeah, I think we're good. Any second now. This fleet is going to get into a... Yep. Battle. That uh, shouldn't even be a contest. Yeah, this should not be a. Uh, I'm thinking I might just have Atlanta and the destroyers deal with it. Two destroyers versus this, yeah, is a little bit overkill, I would say. Just a little bit. What are you doing? There's. I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty cool looking fleet. Oh, three Brooklyns. Jesus, I forgot what I did with this fleet. Oh, three Brooklyns in Atlanta and two Portland. Oh my god. Well, we'll just speed up a little bit. Okay, well, they see us. Also down a little bit, 19 knots. Let's see, Winslow and Phelps are each on. That's a good spot for each of them, and then on the far outside are the Fletchers. I'm assuming. Yep. That's ah, I love that. It's it's I love how it's symmetrical like that. Oh, that makes me so. Ooh, that's just satisfaction. Maybe 16 knots? Well, we're shooting Atlanta. Or San Diego. Hi, there you guys are. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, Winslow has them. You. 
Wow, okay, that's weird, but okay. Welcome to Radar, where shit makes no damn sense. Well, San Diego, I want you to take Phelps and Bach. Form up in a line ahead. Maximum speed. And, um... Charge? How close are they? Oh, they're pretty close. I'll save the destroyer's guns for a little bit later when they get closer. Yeah, I'm not too worried. I mean, plus fighting two destroyers, leading a uh, another destroyer. This is exactly what not an Atlanta, but the Porter class were designed for. This exact kind of engagement. So, uh, yeah, and then you got the Fletchers, which are just... Wow, love the things. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste the heavier guns of these ships. No need. None whatsoever. Um, you can actually start targeting that one, and well, actually, you can start targeting them on me. Phelps, you can start targeting two. Once you can start shooting as well. Same with Bach. I'll let them automatically identify you just because you could be one of three ships. Uh, San Diego, what? Fire, 99? Fucking. Just go. Shoot. Slaughter. Oh no. You found forward guns. Yugumo. Okay. This is going to really suck for you, my friend. The only thing, buddy, the closer you get, the worse it's going to be for you when it comes to Atlanta. Atlanta's just gonna go bye bye, pop 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 pop. Fucking love the Atlanta. Not only is she one of my favorite ships in World Warships to play as, but um. In War Thunder. I've. I can't tell you how many times I detonated magazines on other enemy cruisers. Just because I hit. It just the amount of fire you just aim for a torpedo launcher and boom. Stop the torpedoes and it's not nice. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> happens when an Atlanta gets the range and a 99 solution yeah, hell same with the destroyers yeah you're, you're fluctuating but you'll be fine ah I've got a good hit actually because there's a, yeah I think it's bang what the fuck was it? Blah. Bake. I think it's bake because there's an E and E's are silent at the end and it makes the thing the A 
um, silent E, and then it makes the uppercase noise for English. So I think it's bake. It's gotta be. Okay, bake. You can start that and start targeting the Yagumo. The Yagumo's coming. Plus, I mean, Atlanta has enough guns to deal with this thing. We're in San Diego, not the Atlanta. Come closer. Now the question is, I wonder if he gets into torpedo range, who's going to try and torpedo? I love how the Tokyo Express mod actually increases the angle which guns shoot. That's actually very good. Especially for the Japanese. I mean, well, unless that happens. You hit the torpedo launcher. Be nice. Come on, San Diego, you got 99. Turning. are hidden. Okay, uh, San Diego, you can have all the other ones that will form up on you, I guess. I guess we'll have Winslow, um... And then Dehaven... I don't know. I mean, they're in range. More guns and merrier. Yeah, and I'm gonna save my heavier guns for the any enemy surface ships. Heavy combatants. Uh, with how close you're getting to that, uh, to the, uh, San Diego there, I might just have San Diego switch your fire. Damn. Eh, nah, we'll keep San Diego shooting at the mommy. Splashes, splishy splash out. Nope, not gonna sink. Not doing that again. I just love the explosions from the gun. It just game's just amazing, you know. It, like it bugs at first, you just oh when it started out. Oh, they were infuriating. You know, something nice about this game, watching it go from the bug infested <laughs> thing it was at the beginning, which. Even though it's all these bugs, it still wasn't bad. Until 
what it is now, but you are really close. I'll leave you now and uh Yeah, I just start shooting your Gumo. He's getting pretty damn close. And he doesn't have any weapons. But, uh... Oh come the fuck on. Really? Oh my I really Really? What caused this? Are you fucking serious right now? Really? Great, you fucking... Really? You know what? What the fuck? Really? Did you even you you know what? You know what? One moment. Yeah, I I did fucking um reload that save because I can handle bullshit. I do have a high tolerance for bullshit, but that amount of bullshit? No. Nope. Not even I have that amount of tolerance. Hmm. So, yes. Uh, let's continue on, shall we? I was about ready to call it bedtime here. Mm, yeah. We'll try and shoot this thing down. on his tail. The hell was that? <laughs> Fucking recall plus 100. forward to going to bed now. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, now I'm also hungry, so I gotta figure out what I wanna eat. Eat something real quick, and then fucking plop into bed. Oh, it just sounds amazing. Not sure I'm getting dope. The two heavy cruiser. Well, start your... Yeah. Your engagement course, we'll call it. Task Force 27. 
Hi. Ignore that for now. That way, that's... Oh, you're going that way, but let's launch, um... We'll launch two wildcats heading that way. And at the same time... Two going this way, just in case. Shoot a line of bearing and just go. Ignore. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Three destroyers left. Uh, Saratoga. Bombs. Uh, yeah, we'll launch them all. Okay. Look at all these aircraft. Oh my god. Where are the ships? Okay, so that fine. Let's see. Where is, how are they laid out? Got a Ooh, a Tone. A Tone and a Mogami. Not bad ship. Not good. Well, I know how we're gonna do this. We'll do it this way again. Uh, not again. Uh, just. We'll get the uh, flight leads to get their squadrons on the attack vector. And I don't see any fighter cover. Yeah, you could always be wrong. And once they get in, we are going to, um... Have them attack at their individual speed, because, uh, I don't like what happened last time. Hi, uh... We'll send these guys to go kill them. I would say, what the hell? Oh my god, I'm having you guys attack the wrong fucking thing. That would have been bad. Let's send some bombs right there, that'd be nice. That would have been really big overkill. Okay, no more of that, uh, weird ass. But yeah, there we go. I want you diving. I don't want you to just. Hata! Bombs go. Hata! Yeah, it would be like. <laughs> Bomb go. Thump. That's a different aircraft. Go kill that. Okay.
up. And the leave. How are we looking over here? Uh, are you going to sinks? Sinks? Are you two going to sink? What would you be the? I don't think sinking can be uh, what's it called? Oh, they sunk at the exact same time. Cool. Fuck yeah. That seems like a cool place to leave it because I'm hungry and I need to go to bed. This is Too Tall saying thank you for joining me on this Let's Play of War on the Seas. God, I love this game. Stay safe and as always, have an awesome, awesome day.